I ended up building two of these. I built this one while doing the previous video and probably spent four hours putting that together. I put this together in an hour and a half and I didn't break anything. When you operate one of these, you're probably not going to be holding it like this. You're going to be holding it at one side. That's just a natural position. And I decided I'd like to put this on a motorized base. So this is about putting a motor on one of these. We have the advantage of three things that are concentric. We have this circle, we have the edge of these feet for the base, and we have this circle in here. Starting with a three and a quarter inch aluminum rod, I turned the outside diameter to clean it up, turned a base, drilled a six millimeter hole for a motor mount, and tapped it for 632 set screw. I needed to turn three diameters on this to get it to match with this. This first diameter was just to clear the hole. This diameter just clears the end of these legs for the base. And this diameter fits into the socket. This flat matches up with these little pieces that extend past the bottom of the base from the legs. And they sit on this surface. And the length of this is cut so it just clears the bottom side of this part of the legs. This portion is cut so when this whole thing is inserted it is just shy of this surface. And then this is cut so when it's inserted it does not interfere with this pin that is the foot of the ballerina. There are six indentations here. I drilled the holes for these pins on 120 degrees. When this goes on here, it's real easy for that to match up. And there's a little play. So when you put it on, you just put it on, wiggle it, drops in place. And these are about twice the length of the base thickness. This is a 12 volt gear motor and it's turning 3 RPM. This is the first one I made. This one makes a little bit more noise when it's operating. A little bit of creaking. And that's primarily because this one, the parts were a little bit tighter than on the second one I built. Not much difference. But you can look at the wood on this, it's a little bit lighter. And when I go to this one, you can see it's a little bit darker burn. These parts came out of the sheets very easily. And you can probably hear that it operates quieter. That's working pretty well. That's on a 3 RPM gear motor, and I have a 2 RPM gear motor ordered for this to slow it down just a little bit. If you're interested in one of these, please go to the website link that's in the description for this video and it will help support this channel, not only for the purchase of this item, but for any of the U-Gear products through the link in the description.